when people are very old and deteriorated and no one enters their world and they're just sitting there, they will withdraw inward more and more. And their desperate need for, for connection is all now inside. And if a person is all alone, even if they're very, very deteriorated, there's a longing for this kind of closeness. Mrs. Wilson, hello. You want me to sit? Can you see me good? Gladys Wilson is a wonderful example of a person who was in the phase of repetitive motion where people use movements, repetitive movements, because they don't have any more speech or very little speech, but they have human needs that need to be expressed. You're crying. You're crying. You have a tear right here in your face. You have a little pain. You don't want me to touch you. You're very sad. Can you see me? Is it scary? Are you afraid? And if this person sits with their eyes closed, rocking back and forth, and maybe there's a tear coming down, there's a need there. Here. There's a little tear that's coming out. Do you feel it? Do you feel a little tear? If right you here? gently use right touch, here. and I touched Gladys Wilson for the fingertips right here on the cheek, is where the mother usually touches a child. If you touch an infant there, it looks up, and every cell remembers where it was touched by the mother. And often that person knows, even if they can't say a word at that moment, they won't talk, but, or they don't want to talk, but they, there's, there's a communication. And that person is no longer alone. Can you let me in a little bit, you think, just a little? You think I could be with you and Jesus for a minute? Jesus loves me, yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. I used music, because when speech is gone, Music, especially with Gladys Wilson, it was religious music because there's emotion tied to it and safety tied to it. So I used her old church song. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. What I did was, when she moved, I moved with her. And when I was singing, because she didn't sing with me, so I matched the intensity of my voice to the intensity of her movement. And pretty soon, for a split second, we became one person. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So at one point, when she got very quiet and very peaceful, and my voice became very quiet as hers and very peaceful and my breathing slowed to her breathing. She pulled me to her and I moved with her. And for her at that moment, I believe I was a symbol of, of her mom. Can you open your eyes now? Do you see me? Feel safe and warm? He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the mothers and the fathers. He's got the mothers and the fathers in his hands. He's got the mothers and the fathers in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. 
The breakthrough doesn't happen every time. The person will not always look their, open their eyes and look at you. But if you keep trying and you send, keep centering yourself and uh, really look at that person and really mirror their movements, maybe not this time, but the next time you come, you'll have a communication. You feel safe yeah. with Jesus yeah. and me.